Hi, I just wanted to provide a quick update on coronavirus and where we stand now, about a week since the last update. So we are seeing more cases as you've seen both throughout the world, throughout the United States, throughout Illinois, as well as locally here at Rush. And that we expect to continue as other countries have experienced the same. The most important piece of this is keeping in mind that the vast majority of people that develop symptoms have incredibly mild symptoms. Over 95% of patients will just have fever, cough, upper respiratory congestion, sore throat, really similar to the flu. Now those that are at risk for developing more severe disease from what we've seen across the globe are those that have other medical comorbidities and those that are 60 and above. So that's diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, things like that. Really gotta be careful in those cases, if you have the influenza-like symptoms, the fever, cough and that, and shortness of breath, that's the group that we're a little more concerned about and we want coming into the hospital for evaluation. But what are the things that we can do to try to prevent the spread of the coronavirus? And really harks back to the simple things again. I've also tried, like many others I'm sure, to go buy some hand sanitizer and things like that are in really short supply, including toilet paper, which I don't understand as much. The good news is soap and water is just as effective. So really when you're using soap and water, if you don't have hand sanitizer, it's 30 seconds, singing yourself happy birthday twice, really creating a good friction, getting your hands. Um, that's just as effective as the different alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Also make sure for those with kids, I have three little boys, make sure for those with kids, you're telling them to frequently wash their hands. Because while fortunately, kids aren't, don't seem to be necessarily as symptomatic or end up needing hospitalization as much as the, as the elderly in this case, it's really important that they're washing their hands because they're incredibly effective at passing on germs from outside and passing them on uh, to surfaces and that around the house. So again, washing the hands, probably the most important things we can do. The other piece is, what should I do if I think I'm having symptoms of coronavirus? So if you are experiencing fever, cough, shortness of breath, those are times that certainly we want to provide every option for you. Understandably, a lot of patients are concerned about coming into the hospital at times like this. So video visits are a great option. We've set up a platform on our rush.edu to allow you to do video visits directly from there and kind of assess your risk for coronavirus. I would say for those that don't have symptoms, testing is not recommended for that group. So it doesn't, it doesn't make sense necessarily if you're not having any symptoms to know whether you have coronavirus or not. Doesn't really, mean, doesn't really make a whole lot of difference in that case. So it gets back to the simple things again, social distancing, hand washing, and by social distancing, we talk about not being around in large crowds, especially trying to avoid those that are coughing a lot, um, trying to keep about six feet apart when possible on public transportation, things like that. Again, as possible. It's not to say necessarily need to do that in every circumstance or avoid using those means if you're not able to keep that distance. But really, these are the things that are most effective at containing this virus and letting the virus pass over as it has in other parts of the world at this point. I think here at Rush, we're uniquely prepared in our ability to take care of patients that are sick and seeking care not just from the perspective of facilities, but more importantly, from the perspective of our care teams here. So please remember, be safe, wash your hands, and again, we'll all get through this together.